welcome back to my channel so firstly i just want to say i hope everyone had a lovely christmas spent with family and friends surrounded by love um but yeah um obviously i didn't put a video up last monday um as i explained on my instagram which is at stay with tilly um it was the last weekend i had to run around and get last minute christmas bits so that's why there wasn't one last monday but I said to you all uh, on my Instagram, would you be interested in seeing what I've got for Christmas? And a lot of you said yes. So, like everybody says, this is in no way me bragging. I'm very nosy. I love to see what people get for Christmas. So, I, I asked on my Instagram if people wanted to and the answer was yes. So, please don't come at me saying I'm bragging. Um, I did get very, very, very spoiled, so I just picked out the main bits. Um, obviously, I've got like little wash sets and everything, which I'll probably take you down stairs and you can have a look because I've got a stocking filled with lots of bits. Um, because I don't know if anyone else does this. Like when you unwrap your presents, are your presents upstairs or are they downstairs, like in your room or are they like in your lounge? So ours are always downstairs and then we leave them downstairs and they're probably downstairs until New Year, <laughs> like New Year's Eve and then we bring them up. Um, I don't know, it's just something we've, aw we've always done. But um, yeah, I'm going to show you my main presents on what I got. So to start off with, I got a few little clothing bits. So I got this hat from my mum and dad. So it's a New Balance hat. Um, over the years I have bought hats like caps like these and I've just felt like it's not me doesn't suit me it's not my style um and then I've always ended up giving them giving them to Charlie um but I don't know I've I feel like my style has evolved <laughs> whilst I've got older my style has evolved so I asked for a new balance cap I absolutely love new balance You're see later as well um but yeah my parents got me this cap i asked for a cap so i have got makeup on so I, i'm pulling it forward because i don't want it to get on my forehead oh well, let's just let go do i suit them obviously i need to bend this because it looks like um i don't know it looks like donald duck <laughs> um but yeah i've got a cap i absolutely love it because I don't know everyone just looks so stylish when they style them and then I just felt like I never looked right but I'm making an effort I've wanted one for ages so I've got one thank you very much I'm grateful for that so then next from my sister another piece of clothing she got me an All Saints sweatshirt so it's like a bit cropped at the, t at the front a bit cropped here um, and then at the back, it says All Saints, so it's got the wings and then it says All Saints there. I love very minimalistic pieces of clothing as well. Obviously, this isn't very <laughs> minimalistic, but I love this because you, you'll see it from the front. And then if you take your coat off or if you're not wearing a coat, you're just wearing this, you'll see that from the back. And it just looks so, so cool um because i love tattoos where people have like angel wings on their back um not on their shoulders i just think that looks so cool um but yeah so i got that from my sister grateful for that as well oh, i've pulled something in my back and it's actually quite sore i think it's i don't know what it's from i must have slept funny or something but it's really quite sore on topic of clothing oh god I can't do that sorry I can't I can't bend like that I don't know what I've done it's quite sore um but yeah on the topic of clothing style next thing I've got from my parents are these bad boys oh my god I love them so I've already got a pair of new balance trainers you'll probably see in one of my favorites um I think they're like the five somethings I don't know they're just the basic ones that everyone has and then this new pair came out and I've never seen it. I haven't seen anyone else with this colorway at all. And I just absolutely love them. Baba. Look how cute they are. So they're the New Balance 327s. So they've got the tread 
going from this all the way down to the back there and again like I mentioned with my other new balance I got it said they were grey <clears throat> like I, kn I knew they weren't grey from looking at the picture that's why I bought them but they're like a brown colour so these also said they were grey and white I would not call that grey it's like a a brown like a nude isn't it that's a grey that's grey like a grey khaki colour but um no I absolutely love these they fit like a glove let's get them both out look at them I absolutely love them. I would wear them today, but we're going out for a Boxing Day walk. Oh yeah, I forgot to say it's Boxing Day today. So you're literally seeing this the day after I got them. No, I'll be putting this up on Monday. So I'm recording this the day after Christmas. So yeah, I absolutely love them. Let's put them back in the box properly. So next up, I got a 2020 diet. 2020 I keep saying that 2022 diary I absolutely love a diary especially as um there's a lot going on in my life at the moment like busyness wise um because me and Charlie are purchasing a house we've got a lot to remember meetings wise with solicitors mortgage advisors lenders the the um I keep forgetting their name what are they people we're buying the house from the developers because it's a new build new build i don't know so my mum got me my mum and dad got me a nice diary it's real leather as well if you can't see that it says 2022 the color's a bit funky but i absolutely love it it has this whole this diary belongs to blah blah, blah. and then the next page i am a bit like worried I, I, i'm not gonna fill this in because it asks you for oh sorry my back let me get a bit closer it asks you for your pet's name your twitter account your email address your, your favorite food the food you hate your go-to movie slash tv show your life theme song and then obviously it asks for like your address and stuff but i never put that in there because what if you go to chuck this away because you're done with it because of 2022 and you've got all your personal details on there what if one of them answers was a, was a password a bit scary but anyway so it has like i like diaries like this because it has each day is a page and you have it's from 6 a.m to 6 p.m so you can clearly oh and then also when it's every new month you have um just saw it you have a, a whole calendar um, but yeah, I like I like um, diaries like this where it has like time from 6am to 6pm and you can clearly and specifically plot out what you're doing each time and everything. But yeah, I absolutely love that. So a lovely new fresh diary for the new year. My nan then, bless her, also got me a book that she didn't even know I wanted at all. She said she had to do some investigating. So... I love baking um, it just makes me really calm I don't do it a lot something I do if I'm a bit bored or I'm a bit stressed it just calms me um, and a couple months back yeah it must have been a couple months back because I haven't had time to bake at the moment um, I made some Jane's patisserie cupcakes some her Cadbury's cupcakes and I gave some to my nan and she said she absolutely loved them and thought it's, it can't be a Mary Berry recipe, it can't be this other patisserie lady, um, she said. And she said she did some research and she found Jane Patisserie and um, she said she found her book. So she got me a book. Right, so next up, I got this absolutely, it's not in its box anymore because I wore it yesterday. Ooh, there's a bit of fluff caught in it. This Casio Quartz Watch. I absolutely love it so obviously everyone's like oh casio casio i love casio i've always loved casio i've had the digital watches for years um i then had just the normal analog watch like the small little one and then i was just browsing through asos i'm gonna put it on actually i was browsing through asos before um <clears throat> christmas because my mom was like oh do you want anything and i was like you know what i actually want a nice watch so 
I'm converting from silver jewellery to gold jewellery because I just feel like it suits my skin tone a lot more. Like I've changed all my earrings to gold. Look at that nasty little thing there. I did have an earring in there and then when I was changing it to gold it caught an infection because it was quite um it's quite a fiddly piercing like right in there. Um and basically where well, I was just fiddling with it and made it infected so I've just taken it out and then the earring I bought for that I'm going to get a new one here like a flat one just put there but anyway so I've been changing all my jewellery to gold and I saw this and <laughs> I'm about to put myself in it I'm dyslexic um which is nothing to be ashamed about um, because I've actually done quite well for myself um but one thing I really do struggle with is numbers and the time so you're probably thinking why have you got an analog watch little did you know i can't really show you now but it's got the digital time under there <laughs> so i can actually read the time because otherwise i will be looking at that for ages like trying to figure out what the time is so now i just look underneath it's eight minutes past 11 in the morning so yeah got this watch and i absolutely love it it's it's really not so, well it is subtle but not subtle at the same time it just looks really i think sophisticated i love it um the next couple of jewelry bits oh well this isn't really jewelry but it's an excess hair accessory i've got a nice little claw clip i might put my hair in that today because my curls have gone a bit fluffy today so i might just clip it up but always need a nice claw clip i've only got the really small claw clips and where my hair is really long and heavy it doesn't always hold it and i find myself multiple times in the day taking it down rewrapping it and clipping it again so it's quite a nice sturdy clip then i've got some of these chunky earring like hoops nice gold chunky hoops i wore them yesterday i thought they were going to be quite light no they're really quite heavy and they were dragging down on my earlobes but i absolutely love them these are from asos as well so yeah oh i forgot to say be diary this is from typo i think they have different colorways um i don't know where my nan got that jane patisserie book but you can get it off amazon obviously that clip i said that's from asos this was also from asos and the all saints jumper my sister got me obviously that's from all saints and then i don't know where my mum got these i saw them on office so she might have got them from office i don't know um but yeah, so I've got those hoops and then I just got some rings, little rings here. Actually, I'm going to put this little croissant looking one on today. Oof, there we go. Right, so we're now down to my final two. And when I say I feel so incredibly lucky to have even been given these, I asked for them, but I never expected to get them. Um, yeah. I absolutely love them. So we're gonna go on for the smaller one. So it's not actually, well, this was bought from Liberties, uh, well, Liberty, um, but it's not. Do Liberty do jewelry like their own? I don't know, but um, yeah. Excited. So firstly, I saw this little card. If I can get it out cute they're little because liberty are known for their prints like their patterns um it says happy christmas tilly all i love mum and dad how cute i won't chuck that i absolutely love that so it comes in this little box it says liberty and then inside i absolutely love this look at that look how posh that looks Look at that. It's a little Monica Vinadier bangle. So I asked for one of these um, during the Black Friday sale because I always like to get my mum a deal on something that I want so she doesn't have to spend so much money. But she said, unfortunately, she missed it. They all got sold out. Um, and she said she remembered that um, Liberty actually sell Monica Vinadier. So she went on there and she found this little beauty. So she's rose gold, but rose gold goes with everything. And I also have the matching ring for this. So I bought the 
Monica Vinadier rose gold um, ring in this shape. Was it last, this year? Yeah, it was this year when we went to Vista, Vista Village. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love her. Again, I'm gonna put her on now. It's a bit fiddly trying to work out how you open it and close it. You just literally pull up on this ball bit here and then you put it on just by clasping it. Look how nice that is. I absolutely love it. When I saw it, I was like, I never asked for anything from Liberty. What have they got? And then I opened it and I was like, oh my God, she is stunning. And I was, I'm just so grateful. Like I said, I never ex like expected I would get that. It's it's very expensive for a bangle because I don't have, sorry, I'm about to sneeze. No, it's gone. I don't have an everyday nice bracelet that I can wear and with Monica Vinadier you can always you can wear their jewellery wherever like in the water it doesn't tarnish but I wouldn't wear it like if I'm gonna have a bath or a shower I'll, I'll, I will always take my jewellery off but not like in my ears because it's just such a faff to take it in and out all the time but no I've never I've wanted a bangle that I can wear constantly and sh both of these will be on my wrist constantly but I absolutely love my bangle and then finally my last absolutely amazing present that i got i'm just trying to clear some space so i can bring her up well over because she's quite big oh my back guys i don't know what i've done oh my god i'm gonna have to do a quick one too oh ow oh no it's all falling off I think it's the bloody mattress. Charlie was like, let's get your mattress. Well, actually, I did as well. I said, let's get my mattress for when we move out. Oh, I'm going to have to do some searching for a different mattress. Luckily, we haven't bought one yet, but I think it's a mattress. It gives me backache. Right, and this is bloody heavy. It's probably this. I'm lugging it around. Doesn't help. Right. So I just saw this massive box on the car on the floor in the lounge when we walked in. And I was like, obviously, it was wrapped up. I was like, what the hell is that? And obviously, I, when my mum asked me and Mia, my sister, what we wanted for Christmas, it was like near Black Friday. So, because we like to, like I said, help our mum, oh, must have seen, we like to help our mum out. And because obviously my dad as well, but he doesn't know what we get. <laughs> my mum just does it all. Um, like, we like to help our mum out by telling her what we like. And obviously, if we can get her a deal, we will. Um, but because obviously, like I said, me and Charlie are moving out um, quite soon. I've wanted this before I even knew I was, we were moving out. Wanted it for ages since they even like were brought out. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get into it and show you. And I thought it would just be amazing to have for when I move because I don't drink coffee and I don't drink tea. I'll have the odd iced coffee, but it has to be a mocha but I absolutely love a hot chocolate. So I think that might have given it away, if you know what it is. But it's hotel chocolate. You can see by the packaging here. I've got a velvetizer. I absolutely love her. So that's not the color I got. I got the limited edition white. So I also got the hot chocolates and stuff, but I'm um, not like the mixtures, but I'll show you that in a minute. But look at her. I absolutely love it. So let me get her out for you. Um, so obviously I want to drop them so sorry, I had one of these yesterday <laughs> night, so I was just smelling to see if I washed it properly. Um so obviously they come with these two um ceramic well, was it ceramic or is it china doesn't tell you but these cups um that you put your hot chocolate in i absolutely love them they are so gorgeous so two of those and then it comes with the bit i've still got it wrapped up because obviously when i move for like transporting it i don't want it to get damaged so i haven't chucked any of the wrapping away but obviously the point it sits on 
to heat up and then here she is absolutely stunning look it's got little bits of gold on it absolutely lovely so this is yeah cleaned it properly so i've wrapped the whisk up as well back in the bag but look at that oh i had one yesterday night it was absolutely stunning my sister was like can i have one i was like no i'm saving it so i got this i absolutely love her um let me show you oh let me just put it back in a box right so it then came with because there was this this thing that you like a package that you make so i just to help my mum out i was like if you're going to get me one this color this from that package and this from that package so you got two hot chocolates and then one box of mixed for some reason she got me three hot chocolates and two boxes of mixed i don't know how she did that but i'm not complaining um, so we've got two of these, the Everything Selection Drinking Chocolates. So you get the Salted Caramel, Hazelnut Praline, Orange, Mint, Ginger, Chili, Vanilla White, Milky, Classic and Dark. So I've got two of those. And then she got me two of the Classic 70% Drinking Chocolate. So it's all real chocolate. It is like, it's just chocolate flakes. And then she got me, and then she got me the Milky 50%. Charlie, however, got me one as well, and he didn't know that I was getting one. Um, he said he was going to buy me the Velvetizer, because basically with Charlie's present, um, if you can see, there's a card up there. <laughs> my present's still on the way, so he said Santa's left it on his sleigh. Um, so he's telling me what he's got me. He's got me some Jordans, some black and white Jordans. But, um, I think they're Dunks, or are they actual Jordans? I can't remember what ones he said. But um, they're on their way. But he said he felt bad because I didn't have anything to open. So he was looking at, he went into our local town just to get me little bits to open. So he got me like some lush bath bombs and stuff. Um, and he said he went into Hotel Chocolate and has like remembered that I said I've always wanted a Velvetizer and he was going to buy me one. But I don't think he realised how expensive they were. So he just picked me up a packet of like hot chocolate thing i think maybe he thought you could just make the hot chocolate with that but you do actually need the velvetizer so luckily he didn't get me the velvetizer and also luckily i got the velvetizer so i could use it um but yes yeah, so that is everything i got for christmas obviously like i said i got um like little bits as well like i've got wash stuff i've got um i've got money as well which i'm really grateful for i'm gonna put towards um, I've got quite a bit actually, which I'm shocked about. Um, I think it's because me and Charlie are moving. It's like every little bit helps. So I'm going to buy something for me because <laughs> I've got money from my nan and granddad and they said, we want you to buy yourself something with this. And then the rest of the money I got from other people collectively, me and Charlie are going to, he's got some money as well and some vouchers. We're going to put it together and buy some stuff for the house. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I got, a little montage of like the, no, I don't need to. It's just wash stuff um, and some chocolates. I've got loads of chocolate, which is going to see me through until next year. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I hope you don't th think it's me bragging. I did ask my Instagram if you want to see what I got for Christmas because I didn't upload last Monday and everyone said yes. Like I said, my Instagram is at Today of Tilly. If you did want to follow me, I'd really, really appreciate it. But I have got to go now because I'm going on a Boxing Day walk. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Also subscribe and leave me a little comment down below with telling me what your favourite Christmas present was this year and what you're grateful for. So I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and a lovely Christmas. I'll see you in next week's video. Bye bye.